Here's everything you need to know about cropping in Photoshop in five minutes. So the first thing is the basic full canvas crop. And I probably don't even need to go through this one because it's the most self-explanatory. When you go to the crop tool in Photoshop, that's C on your keyboard is a shortcut. It's also this fifth one down from the top. You can now drag in the bounds of your image and it's gonna crop the entire canvas to whatever you want it to be. So the important thing to note here is it's cropping the whole canvas rather than a specific layer within the canvas. Now, if you already dragged an image into a bigger design and you wanna crop that image within the canvas, let's change our vocabulary first. So we're talking about masking here. If you ever hear about masking, that is basically cropping within an image. So what we're gonna do is let's take this image in the top right. We're gonna make a selection and then create a mask on this layer from that selection. So to do that, Let's go to our rectangular marquee tool. The shortcut is M on your keyboard. And let's say we just want to highlight these players in the middle of the image. I'm just clicking and dragging a dotted line box from my rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to click this mask icon. And again, my layer in question, image two, is highlighted. So now let's click the mask button. And there you go, there's your rectangular crop. From here, you can move the image around. If you click on the layer and go back to your move tool, which V is a shortcut, you can move this thing around. If you wanted to move the image within this crop, all you have to do is deselect this link icon between the thumbnail and the mask. And now you can click and drag this image, move it around. Command T is a shortcut for transform. You can even scale it up if you want to, if we really wanted to focus in on this player, for example. So really whenever you have a selection, whenever you have those dotted lines, you can mask any layer to that selection. The other thing you can do is crop one layer to another layer. And in Photoshop, this is called clipping, making a clipping mask. So let's say we had a different shape. Let's take our shape tool here, the shortcut is U. We'll go to our polygon and let's just draw out a star, for example. We've got this white star. And I'm gonna place it over the image and just bring down the opacity so we can see what is on the other side of that star. And now what we can do is clip this photo to the star shape. But to do that, I'm gonna go back to 100 on the opacity and I'm gonna drag this star underneath the layer that we wanna clip. And now holding option, just hover your mouse in the space between layers and you'll see the icon change. Click once and we have now clipped this image to the star. And now you can see when we drag the star around, we're kind of choosing which part of the image it's highlighting. And when you drag the image around, the star stays in place. We're just changing which part of the image is cropped. So that's a clipping mask. Again, you can clip anything to literally anything else. So I can make a new layer, take my brush tool. Maybe let's take like a, a hard brush. B is the shortcut for brush tool, by the way. We can just brush out like I don't know, some weird pattern here for this image. And again, drag it underneath, option, click between layers. Another example is text. We can make a new layer. And with our T type tool, let's type out jump in capital letters. We'll make this a black, very bold font and position this like so. And again, let's just clip this top image layer to the word jump by holding option clicking. Now let's go back over to our first image. Let's talk about cropping, removing the background. I don't know if I'd call this cropping necessarily, but we are taking away part of the image. I have another video on this. So we won't go into too much detail, but I'll link that here. If you go to W, which is the quick selection tool, go to select subject, which will pop up at the top. And from here, you can fine tune the selection further. But again, you'll see it just makes these dotted lines around what it thinks is the subject. And now you can either go up to select and mask to again, further fine tune the selection. So if we just wanna quickly run through and edit this, and I'm gonna output to layer mask at the bottom, we'll hit okay. And so now it's removed the background. It has attached a mask to our original photo. And by the way, you can always deactivate these masks too. If you hold shift and click on the mask, you can see what it looked like without the mask, shift click again, 
or you can right click, disable layer mask, or if you need to delete the layer mask, you can do that too. The last thing, if you wanna crop the canvas to a specific layer in Photoshop, all you have to do is make a selection of that layer and then hit C for your crop tool. So if you hold command or control and then click on your layer mask, you'll see the cursor change to have that dotted line box. Let's click on it. This just makes that same selection that the mask already has. Now when we hit C for our crop tool, or if we click on the icon, you'll see it automatically crops to whatever the bounds of that selection are. So all we have to do is hit return, hit return again, and now it's cropped the canvas exactly to the fit of our selection. Hope this helps and let me know if you have any questions.